Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had nearly 9 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we've travelled to Broadway to review Aladdin the Musical, soon to open in the West End. Aladdin the Musical is Disney's newest smash hit Broadway extravaganza. With killer gags and zingers and polished scripts, there's stunning performances and a lovely score. It's laugh out loud comedy and beautiful singing. It's the perfect musical for all the family, captivating 5 plus to 90 plus for very different reasons. Featuring a beautifully designed flying carpet scene to a whole new world, this four star magical musical will melt your heart by the uplifting finale. To begin, I wasn't sure whether this show was for me. It takes a good 30 minutes before the magic really happens, literally. Be patient though, it's worth it. This show doesn't have jaw-dropping Disney wow of The Lion King, nor does it have the set of Mary Poppins. However, once the genie leaves the bottle, the Broadway pizzazz begins and it's clear why this is the hottest ticket in town. The costumes in this show are remarkable. You can see your $199 ticket on the stage. Yes, that's £120 for best seats on Broadway. This better be good. Adam Jacob is a piece of work. What a masterclass in owning the role of Aladdin and shining throughout. He's utterly charming and everything you would hope for from a Disney prince and leading man. Such a powerful performance, delivery and vocals. He will continue to be a huge star long after Aladdin. Courtney Reed is adorable and steals the hearts as the princess. Gorgeous voice, beauty, tone and presence. But there's really only one man who drives the entire production. James Monroe Inglehart arguably steals the entire show as the genie. Without him, it would be a tough three hours in a theatre. He's remarkable, an effortless powerhouse performance, a stunning actor, dancer, comedian, singer and star. What incredible energy from the second he appears on the stage. Aladdin is a surefire hit for the UK. It's the feel-good musical of 2016, and providing London equals the unique spirit and talent of the Broadway cast, it will be around for a long time to come. Some of the magical elements of the show are terrific, some incredibly sophisticated tricks and illusions throughout. What I love most about Aladdin was the script. There truly are laugh-out-loud moments that even the dads will enjoy. I love the theatre in-gags as well as the facetious and sarcastic asides from the entire cast that make this show so palatable for grown-ups. The kids will love the beauty and silliness of the show. It's basically a glorified pantomime with phenomenal cast, set and budget. What drives the show is the remarkable talent of Aladdin and the genie. They're going to struggle to find these in London. I suspect Equity will already be working out a deal as we speak to bring two world-class performers to London. In fact, just last week, they announced that the genie will be played by the understudy on Broadway, Trevor Dion Nicholas, who I'm told is superb. Can't wait to see Trevor in London. We must mention Alan Menken's music. It truly is gorgeous, with beautiful new tracks like Proud of Your Boy, epitomising the Disney magic and Broadway standard. The orchestra with a cherry on the cake. Will the show last forever? Probably not. Will it have the legacy of The Lion King? I don't think so, but it's certainly worth seeing and it will run for many years to come on Broadway and I'm sure it will do two or three years in the West End. So don't miss this four-star musical Aladdin playing at the New Amsterdam Theatre on 42nd Street on Broadway and opening in London's West End at the Prince Edward Theatre in June 2016. You've been listening to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had nearly 9 million minutes viewed. You can check out all of our interviews and Broadway and West End reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!